Hi, uh, I am Engineer Riyad Mahmoud. Son of a good parents and a brother of four siblings, a loving husband of wife, and I have two kids and a business owner and business partner. Apart from that, as my profession as a civil engineer, I was working as a planning manager in some reputed institutions, and uh, now I'm fully focusing on my business. At the same time, I'm acting as the honorary secretary of IESL Kata chapter and uh, some other social communities such as Sri Lankan Coordinating Committee, Sri Lankan Business Council, etc. And I'm an active member of Sri Lankan Toastmasters Club as well. I have come to Qatar in 2015, December 23. Yeah. I remember the day like yesterday. I never forget it because uh, I came with a vision to make something different in my life. It should be impacting others' life also. I need to value them. I need to be benefited for the human being as well. So when I kept my foot first time in Qatar, I decided to do something. And uh, there was a business was running at the time by my father-in-law, which was initiated in 2003. So I had to take over from 2017, and I am focusing on the business for so long, around six years now. I'm the decision maker, and I'm the owner of uh, all the decisions to be done. I, I'm the one developing the business as the way possible, and we are focusing on the business, not only in the hospitality industry, but also we are expanding in the construction industry as well. Uh, first of all, I need to thank the Almighty, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. He had honored us uh, to be here after many turbulences and other sufferings, but we are doing very good now. I want to tell you that we are believing our customers and staff like anything, because our staffs are the ones supporting our business to go beyond the expectation. But we are expecting to do some better improvement to our business and our customers. Especially, I wanted to say one story to share with you. Many of our customers, when they come from Sri Lanka or from other countries, they are trying to lo locate near to our restaurant to maintain the authenticity cuisines of Sri Lanka. But I want to tell you one other story. When one of, of the friend of our regular customer came from UK for a short visit, he came for a dinner, right? One day after having the dinner, I need to mention the price of the dinner itself, 63 reals only. But be because of the service that our waiting staff provided, he tipped with him 500 riyas. This is how we are valuing our customers. Our service is more important. Yeah. So we need to make them feel, we need to give them an experience, yeah. not only the food. This okay. is we are valuing. Yeah, I want to mention we are dealing the human. Like not that bossy style, boss is uh, employees. No, yeah. we are not dealing like that. Yeah. yeah, we are like a leader because I want to create leaders, not the followers. So that's yeah. why we are available all the time for our staffs. So that if there are any issues, if they want to deal, uh, ask anything, we are always available for them. Believe it or not, I was working here in the restaurant and other areas more than 18 hours a day during the time when I was required to be here. So I was available. I was supporting them morally, motivating them to achieve. So I believe uh, the spirit of teamwork is a must to go beyond the expectation. I am always proposing our staff to go beyond the expectation of customers. At the meantime, I am trying to uh, go beyond the expectation of our staff so that we can achieve something which is uh, everlasting for the business. Uh, it is a good question, I need to answer it. We had some ideas at the beginning to maintain and m multiply our business, like uh, creating new branches here. We have two branches here in Qatar and one branch in Sharjah, UAE. At the meantime, we are expecting to serve for Qatar National Vision 2030 because it is the national leaders we send, we need to support because Qatar is supporting like anything for us, so we need to support them as we did uh, for the Qatar FIFA as well. At the meantime, we want to achieve the first choice for the Sri Lankan foodies 
to give the best and authentic cuisines with well service. This is our focus and we are expecting to achieve it in the near future. It is very hard to find a single person because there are many, but I want to say some, some people who are supporting like my backbone to go through this life. First of all, I would like to thank my father and my mother who is growing me up to this level so that I can achieve something to this level. At the same time, my wife is always supporting like anything. He is always believing me. When I was morally down, she was the one pushing me to the next level. And especially my brother, elder brother who was supporting me. And uh, my father-in-law who was the founder of this business. He was the one guiding me throughout the life and how to manage the finance and the stuff at the beginning. Then I had my own way. I developed my own way to manage the people so that we are maintaining the staff for so long. Yeah, we had very turbulent time here in Qatar after Gulf crisis and, and again the COVID-19. It was a big problem for us, even though government ordered to go, go for a grace period to the landlord. So we had an opportunity to have three months landlord. This is for the insistence from the uh, our Sikh team. At the same time, I want to mention that we had some issues with financially. So we sold out our as assets and properties in Sri Lanka to post some money to pump in so that we can maintain the business. Why we are doing this one? This is because we felt Qatar is the safe and secure country. One time, uh, Sheikh uh, uh, Emir said in, in an interview, he mentioned that uh, this is the home for citizens and residents. I felt that brotherhood in my heart. So we are keen to work very hard to achieve the dream of the leader and we are believing that we would achieve something beyond the expectation. Especially I want to mention that the father Emir was like a foundation. He was the one who started from the scratch and the Emir was the one built it up to the next level. Qatar has a great vision, not only for 2030, it's beyond that one. So I believe so. So there are plenty of opportunities available for businessmen who is thinking to invest here. That's the best time to invest. At the same time, they need to focus in detail. They should be perspicacious so that they will attend the detail, especially the legal system. Legal system is well developed in Qatar. They need to focus the legal system is established, then the opportunity is plenty. So they need to focus on this thing and then they can achieve whatever they want. I believe so. I need to thank you especially to choosing me to present and interview by your team. I really appreciate your well-visioned leadership and I hope you will go a long way. Thank you so much.